Hey! Welcome back to another soap making video. Today I'm going to be making this one. It's rather large and heavy, but there you go. So this is Wild Fig, and again I've been using my fig mould. So this one is a lovely earthy, um, very green and almost perfumey fig, but not it smells more like fig than anything else. It's um, a little bit like the Diptyque candle, if you're familiar with the Diptyque candle. It smells a little bit like that. So I've chosen four different coloured micas, which you'll see which ones I use. Um, making it the same as I always do, but again, in the big old slab mould. So if you want to see how I made it, then stay tuned. Righto. Lye water going in. There's a few little flakes on there because it's been sat for a while. There's a brand new batch of lye that I made up yesterday, so I've got a few flakes just where it's dissolved and then sat on the top because I've left it overnight in an open bucket. Okay. Right. Stick blending. fluid for a bit because I don't want this to thicken at all. Also, I want to stir in my micas because I don't want those to thicken either. So if I start stick blending now, because I'm soaking at a warmer temperature, chances are it could thicken too fast. So I'm just going to show you which ones I'm using. So I'm using plum purple. Mama, which is hopefully you can see plum purple, and I'll stir these off camera in a second just because sometimes they can take a while and it's a bit boring for you to watch. Then I'm using um, pistachio again, one like a mama, this one. favourite cerulean blue also by my Mama. I'm using extra because I want a strong colour so I'm not using a massive amount it's probably working out about six to seven grams per jug which isn't actually that much okay I'm gonna just go off mix these up and I'll be back Okay, so I've just mixed those and we're going to put them to the side. And then we'll mix our base colour. So I have some titanium dioxide in here, just a little bit. 
about 15 grams because I don't want too heavy a base colour. I'm just going to add some sky blue to the white mixture. Give it a little stir. See what we get and then add more if I need to. So this is going to be stick blended in to my big pot here. Okay, that's the colour I'm looking for. So I'm going to get my mould ready and carry on blending that a bit more just to get it thick enough to go into the mould. Bit more tissue. And then start adding some fragrance in there. We are at trace now, so I'm going to pour that colour into the mould, which I have here. start to add our colours just get these mixed well that's just setting up in there don't want to go too slow now it is a lot hotter I can feel it feel the temperature in there This blue first. Just going to save a bit for the top. Then that lovely plum colour. my chopstick think what I'm going to have to do because it's thickened is just get these bits on and just do like a sort of swirly top really nice colours together definitely got sort of the colours of a fig in a way you know that just with the purple and the green especially but it just I just love all these colours together this is one of my favourite favourite soaps that I make myself it's 
one of my favourites of my own. Now, whenever I make it, I just want to stare at it. It's just a lovely, it's that pale blue again, you know. That's def definitely one of my favourite colours. Or, if not, my absolute favourite colour is that duck eggy blue. I love it. There's a, two of the walls in our bedroom are that colour. And I just find it really peaceful. Good job I've marked out where I want to do my top. I think I've just got enough time to make some peaks in there. I hope, I think I have. Each loaf there, I marked it out so I could see where I was going with it. Cross there, Kimmy, and this one there. It's not quite my usual because of working with this mould, but not too far off. Okay. Ugh, the heat coming off it is it is pretty intense. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I don't want to touch it because it's pretty much how I wanted it to look or how I would normally do it in my individual moulds. We shall see what that came out like tomorrow. A bit there. That end is the bit that I trim off the sample, so I don't worry about that too much. But these top bits, I just tidy up a little bit. And, uh, okay, that's it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Alright, I will show you a little bit more. And take a picture of this as it's wet and then I will be back to cut it shortly and we'll see what we got inside. Okay. Okay, so cutting time. Let's just get it out of the mould. Just been in the park with the doggy and she met a puppy whippet called Finn. He's a little brindle whippet. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So I think when we move, I will get my, my new dog. I should have a sip of coffee. Bridie was smitten with him. She's not normally like that with dogs anymore. She's a bit boring as she's getting older, but he, oh my God, he ran rings around her. She thought it was the best thing in the world. <laughs> so, let's get this out of here. And Peel off the bottom. Put all that to the side. And get some gloves on. Okay, so to cut the first loaf. came out nice that lovely pale blue so I get 13 bars a loaf not 14 like I said so 13 bars a loaf and I get 52 bars of soap out of one of these big blocks and they're five ounces okay 
more colour in that one down the sides. Those colours just look so nice all together. And I'm glad I didn't mess with it any more than I did at the end because it looks very similar to how I do them in the uh, nurture soap moulds. So I'm getting that nice top and I kind of worked out correctly where those um, were supposed to go, so that's good. That worked by marking it in the right place. <laughs> okay, so let's cut a three. Put that out of the way. Cut a few of these. See what we got inside them. Cut one loaf from one end of the block and one loaf from another one. So I can show you two, two loaves. See if there's any difference. There probably won't be much difference between the two sides of the mould. Okay, first one plain on the back, but then look. Look inside. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. In there, there's the tops. Such a nice soap. Wild fig, I love this. Again, there we go. So I did manage to get that chopstick through, so we've got that sort of nice swish going through there and on that one. But it did thicken up quite quickly as you saw, but it's not too bad. That's nice. It smells so good. This is one of those ones, again, that smells really good on the, even on the day you cut it. You know, sometimes they have that weird soapy smell, or sometimes the colours might make it smell a bit weird. This one never does, it just smells like what it's supposed to. Sometimes, it, like with the cure, like I cut Lagoon the other week and my sister was uh, popping in to say hello and as I was cutting it it smelled just like weed Like seriously, I thought it was so weird. I was like, oh my god, can you smell weed like really strong? Now there's uh, people that live above us in the shop here that um, they obviously smoke weed. It stinks <laughs> all the time, but um, I was saying to my sister, my god, that it's just so strong. It's just so strong. Anyway, it turned out that it was the uh, mix of colours that I'd used and I'd forgotten how bad the um, ultramarine blue smells in soap. It's so disgusting. But on the cure, it doesn't smell like it anymore. <laughs> so it's usually like a sulfury smell, not a weed smell, but it smelled just like weed. It was really, really strange. Anyway, I'm just going to cut this one. Close up for you. But yeah, this one doesn't smell like weed. It smells like figs. Okay, a little bit more going on in this one. Yeah, it's nice. Leave some pictures at the end so you can see some nice close-ups of these. But yeah, overall I'm impressed with the way it turned out. I think it's really, really nice. So, rest of today, what have I got going on? Not a lot. I've got a delivery coming in a minute. There's some things I need to make my whip soaps with and then I've got to go home and edit video to get one up this week and then one for next week. So this one will go up like next Monday. 
They never go up on the day I make them, obviously, or the day after. Sometimes they go up the day after, but not very often. So I've got a couple of videos to do, and then I will be back in tomorrow to make probably more soap and more whip soap. I'm going to start body creams and scrubs and things like that. I've got so much to do, but it's nice that the website's closed to enable me to uh, do it. So I will be back shortly for the next soap video. Ta-ta.